What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwari here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial. So this is my third tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the selectors in jQuery. Okay, so before proceeding with this video, you can watch my previous tutorial that is part second of this video series. In that video, I have explained the difference between document.ready event and window.onload event. Okay, so let's get started. So what are selectors? So a jQuery selector selects or finds it DOM element in an HTML document. It is used to select HTML element based on ID, name, types, attributes, class, etc. Okay, so here are most popular or useful selectors. So the first one is the ID selector. Uh, ID selector which select the element by its ID. It is equivalent to the get element by ID of the JavaScript. Okay, the second one is the class selector. Class selector will select the element by its class name okay and the element selector will select the element by its element name like div h1 span paragraph etc attribute selector will select the element by its attribute name let's suppose the div element has the title or uh, the anchor has the href attribute then it will be selected by this attribute selector okay for selecting input element like select text area button image radio etc we can use uh, this colon input okay selector it will return a collection of input element like this with this code colon input type equal to button it may be type equal to radio it may be type equal to checkbox type equal to submit it will select the element in this way okay so there are many way to select the element so we will see everything step by step okay so here are a few example of uh, the main selector so the first is the asterisk we are using the asterisk so this this is also called as universal selector or all selector okay so it will select the all element okay and the, here is the example of id selector we are just using the hash symbol before the id see it will just select the element with id equal to my button okay so here is the example of class selector so uh, it will select the all class with uh, class name blue okay so we are just using the dot symbol before the class name okay and if we want to select that class which will have uh, which must have both class uh, blue and red so we will just use the dot blue then dot red okay so it will just uh, serve as and condition okay and it will just uh, uh, if if we want to select that class we uh, which will consist the uh, class name either uh, dot blue or or maybe a maybe class name red okay so it will select that class also so it will just serve as our condition okay so this is the example of element selector we uh, we just need to pass the element name if we want to select all the div element so we just need to use this and then paragraph then it will select the all span okay so here is the example of attribute selector so if the class uh, let's say that if if the element has the title see so it will just select all the element with title attribute okay if the element has the title then it will just select it by this code okay let's suppose if the div has some title then it will be selected like this if we want to select uh, only the div element with title attribute then only we will use like this div in bracket title okay and if we want to select the attribute with href like h href attribute then we just need to write this okay and if the let's say if uh, if an anchor has some different url and we just want to select that specific uh, a specific attribute with value uh, with a specific value let's say we just want to select the google.com uh, attribute we, uh, we just want to select that element with google.com href okay so in this way we can just select element so here are the relational operator so here if you see if you notice that here we have just put the space between div and span so it it means the span is the descending child of the div okay means if the span is present within the div uh, it may be uh, the child child span or grandchild span or or uh, any span it will just select each and every span of the div element okay and 
if we use the angular bracket then it must be the uh, direct child of that means here the span is the direct child of this development okay so we will we will just try each and every example but with this in in this tutorial we will just uh, try this id selector in the class selector only okay so let's get started so here in the previous tutorial we have just uh, tried few example of document ready and window dot load event okay so here just remove this code and here we will remove everything and here just I'll just discuss about the ID selector and then class selector okay we will we will try several example okay so let's try development okay and inside that I am just taking a button button with text let's say click okay and here I am just taking a span and uh, let's say it, it is a child span okay and inside this span I am just taking another span let's put a space span and this will be the grandchild okay so this one is a child and this one is a grandchild okay and just give an ID okay uh, let's say div1 and button will have ID or you don't need to give it okay I'm just applying only on div1 okay let's copy this and paste another one okay let's make it two okay and give some style reboot so that it looks better so just give margin bottom let's say 50 px okay and then give padding of 10 px okay just copy this and also apply to this div one margin bottom is not required here okay first let's let me check out the output okay so this is uh, uh, first div and this is one the second div okay let's say <laughs> name it child one child one okay grandchild two sorry child two grandchild two and one okay now here if if we want to select this div element by its id then we just need to copy it and in inside the dollar symbol see in the bracket we just need to use hash hash symbol and then the id name and then we will just apply some css inside this and in the curly braces we just pass uh, the CSS property okay let's say the first property is border okay border then colon and inside that let's say 2px solid red okay I'm just applying only border and then we just copy that and we just apply on the second div also let's change the color blue okay now let's refresh this page so it will just select this element see the first first code is selecting the first element by its id and the second code is just uh, selecting this second element okay let's suppose if if we give the same id to both div element okay so it will not be working because uh, see this uh, let's say let's comment this and let's try this okay so it it just find 
uh, the div element with ID and it just apply on the first element it gets okay so if uh, if it is finding the first element very first element then it will just apply on that okay so it just attach this this CSS property on this div element only okay so make sure you will have different ID on your on your page okay now the second example would be let's say if I just want to uh, do the redundancy so just delete this code and you can just apply on hash just put a comma and hash div2 okay I think this will be working like charm okay so the same CSS properties applied on both div okay now we will just try the descendant element okay so div1 space let's say span okay so here we are just uh, span is the descendant element of this uh, div1 okay so here you will see the first span and the second span so CSS property should apply on both see the child one and the grandchild one okay and let's give uh, CSS property as comma uh, let's say padding 10 px okay 10 pixels back padding I have given control F5 okay so here you can see now the same property I just want to apply on this div2 also let's see so here you can see the difference here I just want to select those span which are descendant of this div so I it just selected both child and grandchild and uh, here in the second part it just only applying on the first one okay if you want to apply on both then you just need to write a span so it will also just apply the same property on this okay just copy the same thing copy that yeah, and you will see here okay and let's uh, suppose let's uh, have some different scenario let's try the angular bracket instead of a space okay so I'm just using here I'm just using space and here I'm just angular bracket so here you will find that the CSS property will be applied on the child only okay only the child and here on the both okay because if you use this angular bracket then here the span is the direct child so here you will see the span should be the direct child of this div element okay and let's put this span inside this button let's see this case also same it will be applied on the child and if you put the space then it will just applied on each and every span see grandchild it should be in a button child btn okay so it is in a btn and it is in a nice span so each and every span is selected okay and if you want to apply the same property to the difference so you can put the comma and you can just select the element let's say div1 and div2 will have the same property see let's remove this span from this button element and again paste it here okay
okay so in this way you can just use you can just select the element by its ID okay now I am just use I'm just trying the same thing with class okay so let's say class is diff 1 okay so instead of ID we are using the class name okay here here's a class name uh, div1 and div2 okay and say I'm just applying the property on the first class which consists the class div1 okay and let's say I just want to apply the property on the span so again it will just select the all with class name div1 and then span okay so it just uh, uh, applied the same property on all the span okay and let's remove this grandchild so that it looks simpler and now you can have the same class name see you cannot have the same ID but you can have multiple class name okay and the same thing will be applied on both okay so it will have uh, your span it will just find your span inside the div element which consists the class name div1 okay and let's try the different scenario div1 and div2 okay let's make it div2 okay now this time nothing will be selected okay because it is just finding the div1 and div2 it means the element must have both class okay if you give the see if you give the class name div2 to the first class one then it will just apply it it will just apply the property on this okay so this is this is the scenario and if you just want to put the comma means it will just apply on both it should have either div1 class name or the div2 class name okay so make sure uh, div1 or div2 yeah it should be selected right now control kd uh, just put a dot symbol okay so comma dot div2 just remember that okay so the CSS property will be applied on both because both has the div1 class as well as div uh, div1 and then div2 okay it has both class div1 and div2 okay so this is the basic example of ID selector and CSS selector and uh, I think the ID selector and CSS selector is uh, most important and it is uh, if you if you know this then you can have multiple tasks to be done in a thing in a fraction of seconds okay so uh, you can you can do your most task with the help of ID selector and the class selector attribute selector and element selectors are uh, the second priority you can uh, we will discuss in a later video session okay so I hope you understood this concept and uh, thank you very much if you like this video then give a thumbs up and uh, uh, do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and share this video among your friend and help them too okay in the next video session we will just discuss about the element selector and attribute selectors okay thank you very much have a great day